All right, folks, this is me taking a flyer, and this is no disrespect to anybody living in Chicago for more information or background. You should talk to people that actually live there. But a few people asked me to talk about the shootings over the weekend that went on in the uh, Chicago neighborhoods. Now, coming from L.A. to where <laughs> that stuff has happened you know, back in the 80s and 90s, stuff that I've seen where it seemed like the wild, wild west and maybe not to this level, but I would say, yeah, to this level where in certain uh, black L.A. neighborhoods, shootings would take place all over the city. So I got to thinking that if something similar is going on in Chicago, and I do believe that it is because Chicago's just coming out of a I wouldn't say drug war, but a drug phase where drugs are being distributed through the city to outlying areas. And so I think this may be the wrap up phase for that particular, how can I say, that particular kind of activity, that economic activity, for lack of a better term. Banks might be back on their feet. They don't need the drug money coming through their coffers. So it might be more of a wrap up activity. Now, why do I think that this may be going on? The first thing I thought of when I heard about it and people asked me about it and I start looking into it, I said, the first thing I did is who benefits from this kind of activity? If there's not a lot of drugs or drug wars going on in this activity, in this area, then Gangs pushing for territory wouldn't make sense. And I don't think it makes sense anymore because uh, the epicenter of the who uses drugs has kind of moved to the mid toward the uh, middle of the country away from the urban centers. So the second thing I decided to look for was gentrification. What encourages people to move? And is there resistance to gentrification? So I looked up Chicago gentrification and I saw a few cities, a few areas. Let's put it that way, a few areas. So I put in who was resistant to gentrification in what areas and uh, put them in Google search. And then I looked up the areas where the shootings took place because this is when you have 30 people shot in a, in a concentrated area over a weekend, uh, especially a short amount of time, I think a lot of people were shot. Like 20 people were shot within a matter of three hours on like 12 a.m. to like 3 a.m. And there's not really a lot of gang activity where people are shooting each other at, at midnight because most gangbangers, especially on the weekend, are partying instead of um, looking for somebody, or looking for somebody to hurt. So I looked at the two cities, the cities that were actually involved in the shooting and the cities that were areas that were resistant to gentrification. And there's two areas that came back. It was uh, Lawndale that I noticed and Humboldt Park. There may be more, but those are the two that I found. And I'm not saying it's a conspiracy because I'm sure there's not police or city officials out there shooting people or even encouraging people to shoot each other. But sometimes they turn a blind eye and people know that they can get away with stuff. And a lot of times they, when they want to gentrify an area, they want people to move. They will push in uh, people that are undesirable or they will take police away from an area, knowing that things will spark up, especially during the summer when there's young people that are out. Not saying that it's, this happens or this has happened or this is the reason because I don't know. I don't live there. And what the news reports is what the news reports. They don't even go into the underlying reasons and only the people that actually live there know exactly what's going on. But if I were in Chicago and I were seeing this, I would see who benefits because I looked up, uh, I think it was Lawndale and I think there's some vacants a whole bunch of vacants or some places that were like semi vacant that they want to re they want to renovate and re gentrify and uh, upgrade, so to speak. And the same thing in Humboldt Park. 
It could be just a coincidence that uh, the worst part, the worst parts of the city, are actually the places they want to gentrify. Could be, or it could not be. But uh, for people that live there, this is my assessment. Trust and believe the newspapers and the TV news stations aren't going to put those two things together. So you have to. They are not going to connect these dots. So you have to. Not saying that it is, but this is what I would look for. But that is my assessment of what's going on at Humboldt Park. I'm sure you guys can find uh, find information on it just by Googling Chicago uh, 30 shootings and it'll pop right up like it's uh, like it's hotcakes. So I have, yeah, I think even the LA Times was actually, was actually talking about uh, the shootings in Chicago. So before you can break up a neighborhood or have reasons to break up a neighborhood, you got to get people uh, the surrounding areas to actually see that it's necessary to do something that uh, seems um, unpopular. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. This is BGS Out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.